On this episode of NSFW Show, we are joined by our old pal, Mr. Fish Stick Sandwich Burrito himself, Robert Bedford. We play foreign celebrity or capture phrase. Also, we delve into the world of Fiverr.com and back a few of our own favorite projects. The one-ups join us as a musical guest. Oh, what delights await you in this edition of the NSFW Show. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode eighty eight for August ninth, twenty eleven. Robert's Victory Juice. This episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly, all streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit and buy squarespace.com. The fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your new account for six whole months, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW8. Two. And that means it is now go time for NSFW, the new show full of wet, the new sauce for the Webernets. I am your host, corporate raider and slave to the man, one Brian R B J T F L O L Brushwood. Joined, as always, by my inimitable co-host, Professor of Jurology, one Justin Robert Young. What is going on, Justin? Holy crap, Brian Brushwood. Uh, do we have a show upon shows for you folks this very evening? Joining us live in studio in the capital of the fine state of Texas, Austin a uh, YouTube superstar, and you remember him from this show on the Fish Stick Sandwich Burrito Super Special, Robert Bedford. Woo! Hey, that's your cue. This is oh. like this is like the reverse of when you uh, when you when you watch one of those old '70s cop shows yeah. and they all freeze at the end for the credits. Like yeah. you start frozen <laughs> and then you animate net magically at that point. What's going on, Robert? That's a little bit disquieting. I wanted to make people think the video was lagging. <laughs> that's good. Mid sentence. Success. <laughs> Because that's what this show needs well, <laughs> is more technological failures in it. No, so I appreciate I didn't you doing any that. Problems last time. Uh, well, no, um, you are the magic charm that causes everything to work fabulously. Well, that's the only I part noticed, of my life I noticed that the problem works like thirty that. minutes after I ate the fish stick sandwich burrito. Oh my that God, was, you, you, Robert, that you was never a wetware heard. problem. Robert, Robert, you never heard last time about how everything shook out with the fish stick sandwich burrito because like we we deconstructed the experience <laughs> of eating it for like thirty minutes afterward, and I think Justin actually had the worst experience, right? Uh, well, everything was actually going fairly well until I, I, I tapped into a gusher of pooled pickle juice, nacho cheese, yeah. and uh, you know, all the other just sassy goodness That's that was uh, in the fish stick sandwich burrito. And it is kind of like not unlike shotgunning a beer. It just all, it, you know, I didn't even, by the time that my, that my teeth hit the burrito, it just shot right into my mouth. Before I could notice, I'm, I'm just gagging. On the worst, on Satan's bile. I know what you mean. It doesn't really get that bad until you get to the fruit roll-ups. I remember that. What, uh, um, I did not reveal my secret tactic of, you'll notice if you go back and watch the video, like a Zapruder film, go back and be like, he eats from the center <laughs> inward. From the center inward. Because that's where I knew the sandwich with the fish sticks was, and I tried to avoid all the other crap all around it. Because I hated half of those. Yeah, well, see, that's, that. that's genius. I, I'm going to write a book. How to eat a fish stick sandwich burrito when Robert like Benford's in the room. Like a total person. Word for a cat. <laughs> 
<laughs> Eating burritos like a like a pussy cat. Like a feline, yes. Hey man, so what are we up to today, Justin? Oh, holy crap. You know, listen, we're gonna solve you're gonna solve the world's ills tonight on this freaking show. I'm surprised you, guys... you know, we were thinking about what were you saying, Rob? I'm surprised like, you guys brought me back after what I put you through last time. <laughs> no, I know. Oh, wanna know what? We figured this time we'd focus the the sheer uh, evil that you unleashed on us on on the world's ills, and we're going to eliminate poverty tonight on the NSFW show by way of a few games. Number one, uh, and, and I'll tell you, we're gonna get into the game first, Brian, or do we want to yeah, tip the uh, tip the the other bit and then go go back to it? I mean, I'm fine with doing whatever. Let let me explain. A bunch of people, the moment the show started, they're just like, "Whoa, what's up with Dapper Don Draper Schwood?" And the answer is, I'm dressed like what I am. I'm dressed like a venture capitalist. That's why my hair's combed. That's why I got a tie on. That's why I got the sleeves rolled up. That's why I've got the uh, the the business casual top. But I'm also wearing blue jeans with flip flops because I got lots of lots of money. Oh man! And, and so like that. I'm gonna invest my money. But uh, how are we gonna do that, Justin? We are going to go uh, on to uh, Fiverr.com. Robert, have you ever heard this uh, site Fiverr? That sounds with familiar. Two bars? Yeah, yo, you remember Fiverr Goes West, an American adventure tale. Stole like oh, that yeah. it's, joke. Was that what you were going to say? I gave you that joke earlier today. And you I thought, I thought that was. I thought I could use it <laughs> now, on the show. Is it so? Just me and you, me and you, we're talking, and you're like, "That's a hilarious joke." Let me wait until it's on the record so I can say it. Is first. it just, well, no? Is it stealing when you use a Kleenex and you throw the Kleenex away? And I'm like, "Hold on, buddy, this is still no, good." And no, I pick I it up and time. I show it to the internet, and they think it's great. I think I think that's fine. Our goddamn ripoff artist. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna. How many is gonna la label you publicly what you really are? A goddamn ripoff artist building your fame you on the backs deep. of those below you. You cut me deep because that's shockingly close to what I do. <laughs> my, I prefer the, the term taste curator. I like to bring material that I didn't create, but that I can present in an entertaining way. Sure. And I'm gonna have to watch what I what I do when I talk to you. I'm just gonna save all my good. I'll be like, oh, that's like five. You're like, what was that? Did your phone break up? And we go, nothing. <laughs> I said nothing. And then you gotta bust out like when I when you say it on the show. You're like, boom! And that's what I didn't tell you, Brushwood. Hey! In your face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so um. Yeah, we're going to go on Fiverr.com. Here's the deal. On this site, Fiverr, you go on and you say, uh, I will do for $5 X. And you can name it anything you want. You know, like this guy up here, he'll write and perform a song for you for $5. He'll write a short message in the froth of a cup of coffee uh, placed on a plain white background for $5. And uh, we actually were contacted by the people who ran the site, right, Brian? Oh, well, yeah, we ran across. Show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I believe it was back. To, this dates all the way back. I was running through my emails and ran across something for back when I was doing Halloween Horror Nights, and I had run across. And I, I got to find the name of the guy, but but he was working with the folks over at Fiverr, and he's just like, "Why are you guys not?" doing something with this on the show because it is amazing the nutty things that people will do for five dollars i will give you exactly. instant relief from sadness or stress for five dollars <laughs> absolutely look at that now I... um here's the deal we uh we actually did what we would normally do we waited nearly a full year and didn't contact him before we decided to do a bit with Fiverr.com on the side. Uh, look, because that's how the pros do. We are journalists, and as such, us taste creators, we need to make sure that we don't pollute ourselves by getting, because then he'd be all like, well, make sure that you present the site this way and not that way. But we're above that. We're going to present we it the it way. We kept it in the cellar. We see We it. aged the Fiverr to a, a full nearly a year's time. That's and, right. Uh, and now we can savor it. Exactly. See, and now we can act like the big fat venture capitalists that we are. So, what do we want ever, the fine folks who are watching at home to pull off on this? Folks, uh, we are going to come back to this bit uh, after we play our first game. But while we are playing, we want you guys to go on to Fiverr.com, F I V E R R.com, and find some of your favorite five dollar uh, things. Me, Robert, and Brian are going to find the best one 
uh, and we are going to give them five dollars uh, to do our bidding. See, like, look at this. My money? Uh, yeah, 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 you're spending five. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that we are charging you five dollars to appear on the okay. show. You're going to have to spend five dollars. Can I write that off? Yeah, yes, you All can right. actually. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. not even a joke because I will definitely write it off for me as okay. well. Uh, but like stuff like this one here, it says, "I will create amazing typography style intro with your custom text for only five dollars." I thought this was really good can because I borrow five dollars. Yes, you can, okay. and I will yeah. write off that five dollars. <laughs> I'm not doing so good. But you can see here. So it's just like this guy's got a typography template and he'll do custom graphics and do whatever text you want. And it's only five bucks. And we could use that for something like we can get an intro to a segment. And so, you know, we could do a segment it's called like, you know, I peed in my blue jeans. And then it's like you look at it and it's got this awesome blue jean text intro. And it's just like, guess what I did yesterday? I peed in my blue jeans. And then it'll look awesome. <laughs> So that's the kind of stuff. You just we pulled that out of thin air, Brian. I got just something you thought of. I was talking to Robert earlier, and he said, yeah. I got this great idea for a new segment. <laughs> it's called yeah, I Peed yeah. in My Blue Jeans. And I couldn't help. I'm sorry, Robert. So, wait, so you, you were in a tie. If you get $5 from that, I'd be, I'd be really rich by now because I do that on <laughs> purpose every day. I think he gets himself psyched up in the morning. He can't get out of bed unless he beats his blue jeans. Which, by the way, means he sleeps in his blue jeans. And I, I like to see a movie about a character who does that. He gets all psyched up. He, be, he gets full-on dressed. He looks in the mirror, and he just goes... <sighs> and you just see this slowly expanding wet spot. And then he's just I'll like... I'll tell you what. Yeah. That's a fearsome stance, though. Imagine you're about to fight somebody, and <laughs> this guy's like just super jacked at a bar, and he's like, You want to talk to my girlfriend? like... Ah! And he just pees all over himself. <laughs> I will pay. You know what? I will pay $5 to anyone who convinces his friends he's about to do a magic trick at a bar and then stands there and then just pees himself and then to see how everybody reacts. That's worth if $5. you had a platform where you taught people tricks at bars. Right? <laughs> I'll demonstrate anyways, we'll that get to back everyone. to that later in the show. Uh, right now, Brian, we're going to play a game that was suggested to us by one of Diamond Club's own. Folks, Chat Realm legend P. Delahenty uh, hits me up on the uh, on, on the Twitter. Yeah, I think it was yesterday, the day before, and says, "Hey, listen, I got a great idea for a game for you guys. How about capture phrase or foreign celebrity?" Okay, now I didn't understand it from when you first explained it to me. So capture, of course, we're thinking of those things to, to prove you're human. You got to be like, you know, IDKPAC15 or whatever, right? Absolutely. So yeah, so just to show that you're not a spam bot. Uh, apparently, spam bots can't read crazy wavy text, uh, so you have to use your human brain powers to uh, decipher what that is, and that way you're, you're not a malicious robot. Yes, okay, but what is uh, foreign celebrity? You mean actual celebrities who are famous in countries beside our own? Yes, and uh, I don't know, uh, Robert, did you know that in foreign countries, they don't speak English no good, so they use weird words and combinations of letters where uh, otherwise... Normal names like Robert or Justin or Brian would go. Like what kind of words? Uh, really any kind. Hersberger, I'm sure is a celebrity <laughs> somewhere. Um, Dingford. Doddle Doodle. <laughs> ah, good old Doddle Doodle. The, the paramour of India, they called him. <laughs> Of India? Yeah, oh, everybody's crazy for Donald Doodle in his first Donald movie. Donald Doodle? The Ben Flicks Revenge with Donald Doodle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, these, these are popular names back in, back in the day. Can you imagine? I hope we're just flooded with Bollywood uh, trailers <laughs> featuring this Donald Doodle returns. <laughs> that would be <laughs> Awesome. Uh, He's like doing like his crazy like Bollywood <laughs> dances. Donald Doodle on the screen where he belongs. All right, so let's see. Uh, go ahead and set these up for us. I'm going to go ahead and open up the link here. And I assume it looks like it was also. Man, look at this. He really set this up nice. Capture phrase or foreign celebrity. So option number one. I'm going to. I don't know if it'll just go ahead and show it. There we go. So Max Ravalin. <laughs> M-A-X. Space R V A L L I N, and I'm gonna say uh, I believe that is uh, well, a. Well, I will say I think, and I don't know whether what 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 Pete Alhandy did, but I think that these are all either uh, like, well, yeah, they're they're up and down, like according to whether they would be capture phrases or right. for so, so I'm gonna vote for for actual person. I'm gonna say thumbs up for real person because I give the thumbs up to humans and I give the thumbs down to robot auto generated things. Justin, what about you? 
Well, I mean, like, the, the game isn't take a moral stance on capture phrases or foreign celebrities, Brian. No, you the, just the, kind of have to You pick vote. Them. You got to guess which one it is, right? Yes, I think, but I you're think not that's... like, like, boo, computers, you suck, actors rule. Yeah, no, well, that's my own editorialization upon the fact. Look, it's a fact, dude. Humans first, bro. You're, you're with the machines when the revolution comes. All I'm right, all about the humans. Right. For, for the record, without judgment, I also think Mac, Max Revalin is a, a person. Oh, down with humans. Secretly, I'm one of you. I'm a traitor to your cause. <laughs> no, dude, yeah, you don't have to take a stance. Oh, right? no. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. He says, says, uh, says the person who just crapped on all of humanity. All right, Robert, Max? is this a real person or a captcha? I think it might be a real person. All right, that's all three of us. All three of us say it is a real person, and the answer is... No, no way! It is, in fact, a captcha! Oh, Holy cow! Oh, no. uh, yeah! Wow! Uh, chat Realm, did you guys get it right? I'll tell you what, next time we're, right, we're, oh, we'll have Chat Realm vote as well, because I don't know if they got it right. That was a good oh, one. Oh, man. That's a really good one. All right, uh, next shoot. one. Shoot. <laughs> How many more ways can you express disappointment? Damn it. <laughs> can we keep going, though, until he runs out? Golly, gee. Uh, <laughs> horse I don't know. Well, I, don't, I don't know which words I can say on I know. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> see, that's, that, that's just it. Is you gotta... Just go. Just go. We'll rein you in. <laughs> All right, here we go. Justin, uh... I got one here. Oh, by the way, are we going to set stakes for this? Oh, man. We already just had Well, the... I oh, gave man. away my low sister's man, last time. We all time. lost, so it's still evens. I say low man on the totem pole. The winner picks their Twitter avatar. Do you guys like okay. pets? No, okay, yeah. How about this? This is what you we're going to do. my sister's dog? <laughs> Again with the sister. What is it with the business? Your poor sister. I have, I have a huge gambling problem. <laughs> okay, so here... I don't have money, so I got to bet... Uh, my sister. Over things. and over and over again. And okay, yeah. I'm going to say... I'm going to say that we'll do what we do here on the show, which is the loser has to have their Twitter avatar selected by the winner um, for 24 hours, for the next day. All right, what's the what's the avatar going to be? Uh, but, well, that's well, the, the winner. The winner last, chooses it for the loser. Time, right? I lost. I lose every time. Okay. If you were wondering, okay, if there's good, a game like on this answer. show, I lose it. Okay, I'm king of losing the games. Okay, this here we is go. It's good water, by the way. It has lemons in it. Lejubov Polishchuk, 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 L J U B O V Polish P O L I S C H U K. Um, I'm gonna let Justin go first. Uh, I'm gonna say, oh, Lou Bob is a real, a real person, a man of flesh and blood. He's got a mother and a father. He lives his life the way, best way he knows how. Look, you're, you're crazy. You, you're right, but for the wrong reasons. She is a lovely damsel, the darling of the Polish film community. Everybody knows. Don't you remember Lujubov Polishchuk in Where's My Chess Set? And Ouch, That Hurts. Those were fantastic movies that were famous in Poland. Robert. I bet my niece that it's not a real name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the answer... She'll be born in uh, four months, actually. Is... January 4th is her expected date. Wait for it? Oh, wow. That's that's kind of adorable. And, and she can be all yours tonight if you're right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> it is... Oh! A Russian actress! Uh-oh. <laughs> so she wasn't Polish, but, but I was right that it was a girl. <laughs> that, uh, we're not betting on that, though. So me and you are tied right now. Uh, Robert... Is lagging behind. My in third. saying fake to every name strategy is not working out so far. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. All right. Next one we got right here. Let me go ahead and move this in so it'll be easier for me to see. Son of a, a son of a dog. <laughs> go on. Go on. <laughs> what do you uh, got? Damn it. Dang. <laughs> Golly, jeepers. Uh, All right. This one right here. Rasaka Visioni. V Vigi Vigioni. I'll go uh, first. Robert goes first on this one. Okay, Robert, your turn to go first. It's not a real name. You don't think so? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's just what you're going to say every By time. By the way, are you looking at the chat room, Brian? No, no, I I could show them, but they can... No, but don't, because I'm not looking at the chat room now. They're probably looking on Google, so you don't... Yeah, don't they, probably the... are, they probably are looking up each one. Like you, that. Dirty ch you, you, you dirty chatties. And you have the chat room right in front of you. You're I should have told you that. Well, They're I'm not okay. looking. Well, listen, listen, all right, Brian... Put the chair room away. It's cap Independently, captcha. I'm going to say, it's not a real name. <laughs> I said captcha before you said that. No, oh, all right. I well, said captcha. Reveal it to be a captcha, right. and we'll move on. Oh, okay, so it is. Go. All right, we'll keep going. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Two for Robert. Let's, let's keep, let's move it along. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're moving back to option number four. 
contract actions. <laughs> That's T R A C T A S H O N S. Very uh, poorly known actions. Middle Eastern porn star. Tracked actions. If that's, if that's not a real name, it should be. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going CAPTCHA in a big, big way. <laughs> I'm going to go real name. Really? All right, Robert? Yeah. Uh, I bet my 27-inch iMac that it's fake. <laughs> okay, so that's two <laughs> two captures and one real person. Everything is fake. <laughs> All right, hold on. Revealing now. Oh! 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 Suck it. Who's on the board? All right, so that means I'm in first place now. Right? And I don't mean that in a sexual way when I say suck it. It can mean anything. No, yeah, it could mean suck down the victory juice. <laughs> yeah, that you're not gonna drink because I'm drinking it because I'm winning. I'm winning. I, I'm the victor. <laughs> that's what it. That, that's what it means. In fact, that's. I've actually been drinking album. victory juice this whole time. That's what's in this cup. This blue Water, cup. aka victory juice. Yeah. Okay, so that means it's two for that me. Sound to me sucking the victory juice. <laughs> that's that's two for me. <laughs> and one for each of you guys, right? Uh, no, uh, it's three for you and two for me. Uh, okay. I thought it was. Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. I mean, I, okay. I know I'm one ahead. Up one. You're you're up by one. Yeah, and so and and so you're in last place, Robert. So what? <laughs> How'd that happen? I thought <laughs> I was winning. <laughs> How do you like that? I'm, wait, I thought we were playing the repeatedly shouted game. Uh, Stas Pjeha. P-J-E-H-A-A. P-J-E-H-A. Stas Pjeha. Apparently me and Robert are tied, by the way. Yeah, that's what I That's what I said. So We are not good at counting. <laughs> Stas Pjeha. I, I guess it's my turn to go first. That is a real person. Robert? I bet my whole identity... Identity... That's everything. That's my name. That's my bank account. That's my social security. That's my car. My my the apartment that I'm moving into in Austin in a, three weeks. <laughs> and all the bills. Uh, you also take out my student loans. Uh, yes. But you do get some valuable assets. Yeah. It's a fake name. So you think that's a capture? Bet, I'm putting it all on the table. It's a fake name. <laughs> yeah. Right, Justin. Going all in with my life, and going all in in life. Um. And you can go all in to Robert's life if you win this uh, this particular question. I'm going to go ahead and say it's a real guy. So that's you and me both say real guy. And it is... Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> that wasn't a real guy. Look that's at a, Stas. That's, wow, man. Getting all Stas, Stas looks in this to be a, oh, well. maybe a, a, a Filipino gentleman no he's he's a russian actor you could tell because it russian says here actor? Oh, okay. russian act actor Maybe, no, that's what i like to call filipino gentleman <laughs> <laughs> everybody knows that the slang among the kids today is they yeah. say ah, filipino God. gentleman well what they mean is a russian actor yeah oh my sister dated this filipino gentleman when she was a russian actor really wow all right so we got time for uh, oh, well. uh i guess do? i'm still up one uh, Robert, you never know. You may make 20 points in this last one. Well, it's better that I did that instead of, like, asking what if. Nilu. <laughs> I'm going to change my name to Nilu Fool anyway. Nilu Fool. N-I-L-U. It's a better name. P-H-U-L-E. Or Anton Stacked. What was that Nilu one? Fool. I like that last, that name before last anyway. I'm going to say that is a CAPTCHA. Wait, I just went first last time. I think it's your turn. Well, you you said you're gonna say fake name. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say. I'm fake gonna name. say Brian <laughs> Nilu Fool is not only a real person; they're the last hope for humanity. Well, <laughs> what does that's that my, even mean? That's my new name now that that I don't have an uh, identity. I'm changing my name to <laughs> Nilu Fool, so it is a real person. <laughs> As like a hermit crab. Right He's now. He's rolled into Nilu Fool. Which okay, well, so, so what I bet my him. parents on that. What, what, oh, my gosh. You do go all in. Uh, all right, Justin, so so you are going down in history as real. what? As real. And I said real. catcha. All right, Nilu Fool. Oh, yeah! is an Indian yeah, actor. I win. I'm wow. Yeah. Okay, so that means Justin and I are tied for first place. Uh, you oh. are tied for last place with yourself. No. Um, I'm pretty sure I won. <laughs> you're a winner <laughs> inside it. That's what matters to all of <laughs> what us. Is, what all are right. our numbers anyway? This is going to be the final one. I cannot believe how many of these he was able to find. These are all really good. Now, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. And, in fact, Justin, I'm going to let you 
pronounce it. This one here. Okay. I'm really good at pronouncing things. <laughs> uh. That is, uh, Joingizzi Hilbert. Joingizzi Hilbert. Joingizzi Hilbert. Uh, all right, Robert. You want to say it's a fake name? <laughs> I got some old Slipknot CDs that I don't listen to anymore. Uh, I'm going to bet those that that's a <laughs> fake name. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, 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 stop talking, stop talking. You and I, you and I can't, we gotta write down our answers, otherwise it's game theory. Did you already say aloud what, hey, what your pick was? No, I didn't. Okay, alright. So, well, um, I already said my answer, yeah, but you game but, theory but, on me. Well, yeah, I don't think we have much to fear. The game theory from, has from, become from the game you at this point. Yeah. Sorry, Robert. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna say... All right, I'm ready. You be, better be ready with some victory music here, because I'm feeling pretty I'm not Victorian. Gonna say, not gonna say what the answer is. All right, ready? I'm not gonna say it. Three, yep. two, one. Oh, we picked the same thing! <laughs> All right, so we both picked that it's a captcha, and the answer is, let's just say if we're both wrong, then Robert jumps forward five Robert points wins to win the and game. He gets the pick. Things for both of our Twitters. Yes. How about that? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you you, get, you, you get also get, get back your life. You get it all back. Your life. You get your niece. You get your Slipknot CDs. You get your Social Security <laughs> yeah. number. You get everything that you have wagered, uh, Robert. Should join Geesey Hilbert be a real person and not a capture? All right. Here we go. The, the answer, answer is, is... capture. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that like literally the stakes were everything you have in life and you just lost them and your answer is dang it <laughs> so that means we well, got to do one more a tiebreaker between me and you just at least i can say i live well, let's just do lightning round lightning round what do you mean okay here we go uh here write it down write it down right, real no, quick. no 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 let's just do three two one we'll say it right okay ready three two, three, two one one real, real. <laughs> okay well we both said it's real and this one's real. Okay, let me try another one. Okay, this one we'll do option seven. Now we already did Stas. That's Stas. Although, who knows? There we go. Okay. Keshanzu Kez, Kez, Helost. Keshanzu yep. Helost. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Real. real. <laughs> oh, and it wasn't real. <laughs> we tied again. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, Ernalog Trevino. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, my child back. Okay, ready? <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. Capture. Oh, I say it's a capture. You say it's real. This is what it all yep. comes down to. Yep. Ernalog. Get it. Trevino. Ernalog Trevino. Is it a real person or is it a capture? And the answer is <gasps> capture. Oh, no! Where's my victory hey. music? You play me some victory music I right now. I you the Zelda yeah. win. There we go. Yeah. All right. So now yeah. uh, I will. <laughs> you better treat my niece with respect. I will. I will. You better take good care I will of her. take good care of your Slipknot CDs. I'll pay your rents on time. And uh, the bad news oh, is good. you're growing a beard. That's um. Okay. Part of your identity shit. I don't think I can physically do that, but I'll try. Holy cow, I can't believe I won for a change. That is freaking unreal. Uh, hey, Justin, do we have do we have anybody uh, helping us out with this here episode, making us a little bit of the bucks to keep us in business? Uh, yeah, first I want to uh, you know, uh, correct somebody who said that that was Final Fantasy and not Zelda. I played Brian the Zelda win. And then I played him the Final Fantasy music because he whined like a baby and said I didn't play a, a victory cue for him. So I do know the difference between Final Fantasy and Zelda. Thank you very much. Brian... <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a spiritual moment for me. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, no. No one pays for this crap. <laughs> Nobody. Wait, 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 hold on. Justin, that's, that's very it's hard terrible. for me to believe. We're like it's on episode 86, going for almost two years straight, having one of the biggest presences in the whole s skeptic podcasting track over at Dragon Con. We're, we're appearing on, live on stage. We're running around with the live view. Nobody's paying for this? Uh-uh. No. How, why are we, how are we doing this? Netflix. Um, Rob, do you have any idea? Because I have no idea. Netflix. 
<laughs> How did... Netflix? What is this? What is Netflix? Well, Netflix, uh, well, you can watch any, any movie you want to watch. Every single movie <laughs> you can watch on demand on your Xbox free. But you got to sign up. <laughs> and pay them a, money. With, with a credit card. <laughs> right. Sign up. Your yes. credit card. It's free. It's uh, if you go to netflix.com slash twit, you could sign up, you get free 30 days, and oh, okay. you do, they got thousands of titles on instant streaming, you can watch one on your Xbox. Do you have an Xbox? I have an Xbox. Do you have a, do you have a uh, PS3? Yes, I do. Well, you can watch it on that, too. I'm only going to watch it on my Xbox. Uh, you, you have a Nintendo Wii? Yes, I do. You can watch it on right, that, too. Wait, hold on, what if somebody Xbox, shot your though. Xbox? Don't. Yeah. What if somebody shot your Xbox? What if somebody just came in with a gun and sh said, I'm going to shoot this goddamn Xbox right in the face. And, and then did. you're like, go out and buy another Xbox. Actually, <laughs> you're like, I will buy so many Xboxes before I watch it on my <laughs> PS3. You have no idea. What if he walks in and says, I'm taking back my Xbox. And you're like, what are you talking about? And then he shows an ID that has your name and his face on it. And then I guess I'll just watch and it. And then you realize it was just Brian because he won your identity. <laughs> I know. And he was stealing I know. Guess... everything that you own, including your Xbox. Yeah, exactly. He's a random, well-dressed person. It doesn't have to be just me. Uh, yeah, t we're talking physical copies of the media. We're talking your Blu-ray, your uh, your DVDs in one business day. We're talking uh, thousands of titles. But the important thing is that you got to go to Netflix.com/slash/twit. That's the only way that they know it's our horse-faced shenanigans that are keeping them in business. Yeah, all right, listen, I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet about uh, complaining about uh, you know Netflix is just completely adjust their pricing structure. And I, yeah, I'm looking free. at my screen thinking, like, am I taking crazy pills? Because all I see is that the suckers who use discs are getting disced in the face, <laughs> um, you know, with an extra little price hike. But you know whose price is going down? All the smart folks who only watch their movies on instant streaming. And Hello, that's ladies and gentlemen. 90% of exactly. everybody who's listening to us. I know that's me, that's Brian, that's Robert and his Xbox flying in the sky with nothing but delight, filled with endless television shows and movies, singing each other to sleep like silent lambs in the night. That's what is awaiting you if you are not a Netflix subscriber. Otherwise, welcome to another day of cold hell where your ex-girlfriend fornicates with your worst enemy in front mm. of your face for the rest of eternity. Netflix helped me beat my alcoholism. Uh, I believe that. And with that, we move on. <laughs> Justin? Hey, uh, did you get the document? Uh, they already, Chat Realm is the most amazing self-organizing wetware botnet I've ever seen. They are, they are the ISOs from Tron that have, all of a sudden they send, we, we speak some words saying we've got $5 a piece, mind you. We are three rich powerful business moguls who have five dollars burning a hole in their pocket and we are taking auditions from you guys as to how we should spend it on fiverr.com some of the uh, first ones we got here we we've got the first one is tell me if you guys you guys just give me a thumbs up thumbs down on these um i will write anything you want on my stomach and dance for 30 seconds for five dollars we're talking about a guy who will do this he's a hairy guy too i don't know if that means anything to you all right that helps there we go. That does help. He will write anything you want. Now, if I can describe... Well, Robert, can you describe <laughs> about this guy's Wait. dancing real quick? How did you find my dad? <laughs> what is he doing on your computer? <laughs> wow, that's worth five bucks. <laughs> well, I'll just say he's got kind of like a go-go dancer sort of stride to him. He's, uh, he's a man who, who would dance not in, you know, like a, a, a very certain kind of club. <laughs> like he should be in a cage. Dancing around. What? I don't. Uh, okay, then that's like where a go-go we'll club where all the go-go dancers. Dance. All right. Now, what about this? What about this? We, uh, and what's funny is he says, "Okay, this one says, I will make your picture into an Obama-style poster for five dollars." And what's funny is, of course, this is not just an Obama-style poster. This is from the the artist Shepard Fairey, who who you know he does the Obey line. He's he's done a whole bunch of this stuff, and He'll take three of them and make them into that. I don't know if that turns around. He says, very fast turnaround. Guaranteed. You know what? I would have said yes if he had said guaranteed, guaranteed. But he didn't. No. So I'm, I'm thumbs down on this one. Yeah. But, but did anyone... like, well, let's, let's go check out this emotional rant for $5. An emotional rant for $5? Where's yeah. the emotional rant? I will make an emotional rant for $5. There we go. This guy right here. Let's see. There's a yeah, little scroll down thing a I'd like to talk about. 
talk about today. Oh, look at this guy. That really irks my chain. I'm talking about money. I'm so sick of money, I can't even stand it. Everyone I hear is having money problems. I'm having money issues, this and that. Let me see the whites of your pockets. Boy, I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. So sick of it. Sick of it, sick of it, sick of it, sick of it. Sick of it. I cannot believe that this whole economy is getting away from All right, Brian, pause it. All right, all right, all right. If I want to uh, see I mean, that, this I is, just... uh, right now, it, we're looking at a man who is, has long red hair, no shirt, who has... <laughs> A, uh, a, a, a jersey, a, a football jersey, jersey, haphazardly hanging behind him. Yeah. <laughs> and by yeah. the way, the tags on his video. Can you go back to there? Yeah, sure. The tags are rant, emotional, yelling, scream, screw, angry, mad, revenge, anger. All of which makes sense, <laughs> except for screw. <laughs> <laughs> I think he means like you want to screw over something, like screw you, that kind of I'm thing. I'm just saying, like, words have screw, power. Screw Brian. the man. Uh, I gotta admit. Once you unleash that five dollar uh, uh, incentive, I'm clearing knows? the board. I am right now. Unless somebody liked one of the previous ones we saw, I'm clearing the board of all of them except for this guy. This is the only guy I'm keeping on there so far. All right. And let's see. We got. I will put your face in a war costume <laughs> for five dollars, which means you can just you can put your face. I don't even know what this is. He's got some kind of. I guess it's a war costume now that I look at it. That's not All right, bad. Well, Brian, I, I got I got a couple here um, right. that I really like. I, I have um, I will send you five beautiful pictures of dolphins for five dollars. Oh, uh, okay. I will pour chocolate sauce all over my head and say anything you want for five dollars. Tell me they got video and, of that. Uh, I will post messages on your Facebook page to make your ex girlfriend jealous for a week for five dollars. That's not bad. That's none of those are bad. Um. You got any ex-girlfriends you want to piss off there, Robbie? Um, <laughs> no, I don't. No, they're already pissed off at me. Uh, okay. <laughs> so here's one that kind of concerns me. <laughs> here's one here from John Tilton that says, I will cook a meal in the kitchen of Brian Brushwood for $5. <laughs> and it says here, due to the popularity of my secret podcast on Google+, Plus, I will cook or bake and live stream the creation of any meal of your choice in the lovely kitchen of Brian Brushwood. What would you like to see, <laughs> In Brian Brushwood. I'll tell you what, and I, having eaten in the kitchen of Brian Brushwood, it's a nice kitchen. It it's a really a, nice kitchen. It is a nice kitchen. I can't believe that somebody was clever enough to jump in there and immediately make one of these. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's up to you guys. If you wanna, if you wanna have a meal, I don't know how he's gonna send you the meal. No, he's just gonna, you're just gonna watch him cook it. Oh, okay. Kitchen. And then watch it again. Do we watch him eat yeah. it? Oh, I thought he was actually going to come over and do it in your kitchen. No, no. Well, he'll cook it in my kitchen, but you can watch him cook it in my kitchen, but you just don't get to eat it because he just makes it in my kitchen and you get to watch him make it. Can in I my eat kitchen. what he makes? Uh, well, you can. Why don't you go ahead and do that? Okay. And in fact, I'll bet it'll be cooked by the time you, you want to go ahead and buy this? Yeah, I'm going to give $5 to that. All right, there All you right. go. So that's $5. You're getting this, right? Yeah, yeah, there, I'm sure he's downstairs. I'm sure he's already jumped right on it. I'm sure he's All removed right. the... Here, order right. now. Look at that. That's easy. you gotta, you got to log in or register, but that'll be easy. All right, so that means it's just you and me, Justin. You so what's, my, what's you left for... You want my PayPal username and password? I'll give it to you right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we already got, I already won it off you when I got your identity. I got all that stuff. Oh, yeah, cool. So, so don't worry about it. I yeah, got you it. get like a certificate. I got it, I got it taken days. care of, bro. <clears throat> I will retouch your photo so you look beautiful for $5, and they show, um, I guess, I mean, she looks adorable to begin with. That's, well, she does look significantly more beautiful in the, <laughs> right, all right, moving right along. Um, I'm trying to see, I will pour chocolate sauce over my head and say anything you want. I really like that one, except for, there we go. Tell me they got a video. Are there any, like, sexual favors on there? Um... I think, the I think that's thing... they're trying to keep that away. Oh. The sexual favor. What with Damn. it being illegal? Because I was thinking of leaving this whole, like, YouTube video thing and <laughs> joining Fiverr. <laughs> I will make a sexy video of your logo being printed for $5. Here you go. Take a look. <laughs> Wait. Here she comes. <laughs> Alright, that's I need to get myself a logo. That's pretty good. 
Then what does he do to it? That is, I think that's the extent. I think, of the I think that's another five dollars. Yeah, exactly. At least if you want to watch right now, that's my number one contender on there. I, either that or the the screaming man. Um, let's see. I will write you a stupid I story. I like what is. I'll tell people you're gay for five dollars. No way. Is that a real one? Yeah. You tell me he's got a video. I can tell people you're gay for five dollars. I can call them, email them, or Skype them. And tell them you're gay. I'll use whatever attitude you want. Happy, sad, angry, gentle. Phone calls will be in the U.S. and Canada only, so they will last about five minutes. Unless I'm really enjoying myself, then I'll make it last longer. You don't have to actually be gay. It can just be a practical joke if you well, want. Well, my dad already does that to me. <laughs> so, no. He calls you to tell you you're gay. Yes. Is what happens. Yes, he does. Well, that's uh, that's a problem. I, uh, in the chat room, Cowgirl Curtis says, but Brian, the rant man was not funny. It doesn't matter if he was funny in his first rant. It'll be funny when we say specifically that he needs to be ranting about anything but Cuba. And he needs to say it repeatedly. Like that's, that's what we got to set up for him and see what he comes up with or have him rant about the NSFW show. Um, somebody is trying to post. <laughs> Well, have you seen wow. this new one that just yes out there? new to Fiverr? Uh, I will mimic to the best of my abilities the personality uh, personalities of Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young and recite an entire episode of NSFW show on the Twit Network, all however many minutes of it for five dollars. Oh my gosh, I <laughs> I'm so down with this. I uh, are we, are we calling that one, <laughs> Justin? Is that how you want to spend your five dollars? I don't know if we should just give it to to chat room people. I, I think, I mean, that, that's pretty good. I, I I would encourage anybody to buy it. Yeah, but, it's certainly. Uh, I'm a already I'm already sick of my own voice. It's, I don't know if I need anybody else. To I know, do but it. to hear a whole like specifically, I'd love to hear the entire Christmas episode done by a random stranger in person. Like that was my favorite episode when we did a Christmas Carol and we and we played. Um, that was a lot. There's a lot of voices on that one. Well, I know, but that's that's what I'm saying. No, 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 no. I'm saying that's why I agree with you. I will dress as a sock monkey and take a picture with a personalized message for five dollars, which that's just not bad. I mean, I guess you can see your message here. Uh, I don't know. No, nah, I'm not feeling that one. I'm gonna. I'm, I'll tell you what. I'm decided. I'm gonna give it to the to the ranting angry guy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say what should I, what should I have him. <laughs> what should I have him rant about? Well, let him go. Sleep. Keep playing. Keep playing. This <laughs> is right. the sample hey, rant again. Voting on this and this sick and dark than that. You hear me, boy? Like throw up on. Is that? I feel like is I'll that Martin the, Sargent? I feel like I'll, I'll get the same thing, but just give him, let him watch him like uncle do cocaine. So if you want to get my rant gig, <laughs> order right now on Fiverr.com. <laughs> I I don't know. I think we can get him very specifically. They got uh, chat room doesn't like it. <laughs> chat room doesn't like it, but it doesn't matter because <laughs> if they think it's funny. Who did I, I get five dollars to? Me. Oh, okay. Me. I'll don't worry. I'll take care of it. I guarantee you. Okay, good. I guarantee you. <laughs> if we had a live stream to my kitchen, I mean, he owes it anyway. I think I, I want to get five beautiful pictures of dolphins for five dollars. <laughs> That's what now. What are you gonna do with that? That doesn't do anything for the show or for for chat realm or nothing, man. Yeah. But, but they're beautiful pictures, Brian. Well. Okay. Can, can I look at some of those sample wares? Or can I can you show some of the sample wares? Hold on. I will keep mosquitoes away from you for up to five dollars. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Is somebody just selling crappy fake insect repelling super bands? Oh my gosh. Bogus. This is not Fiverr! Dun Oh, oh, am I ever mad? Fiverr's not a place for you to say, even if this is legitimate and it's worthy and it's a good thing, <laughs> this is not the appropriate venue. Fiverr is not a place where you give valid goods for $5. It's a place where people embarrass themselves and humiliate themselves for the enjoyment of people who, for one shining moment in their sad, pathetic lives, want to spend $5 to feel superior to someone, to anyone. And it's totally inappropriate for you to come and just sell Brian, your wrist Man. Brian, yeah. listen, that's a very impassioned plea, and I just want to, for the record of the podcast, uh, uh, state for the record, uh, when did you first go to the site Fiverr.com? This this afternoon. <laughs> just putting that out. I still don't understand just what it is. Out. It's a, I mean, what's great about Fiverr is the humiliation <laughs> uh, you can, look, you, I, I, everyone has their own interpretation. You know what I'm saying. You know All right, I, listen, if, you, if I, you're going to get ranty angry guy, I'm going to get uh, the logo being printed all sexy style uh, for $5, and I will take 
whatever logo Chat Realm sends to me, and I will I will put uh, I will put that on there. So you are going to do the uh, well. What is this one page comic? Hold on, we may have a late. I will draw you a one-page comic for five dollars. Wait, I changed mine to that one. <laughs> nope, too late. You're getting a meal <laughs> from my <laughs> kitchen. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is awesome. I already one, got water from your kitchen. One page <laughs> with lemons. One page black and white comic about whatever whatever you want. If you have a script, send it to me, and I'll draw it for you. Okay, I'm gonna say this is what I will buy, but I'm gonna have Chat Realm write the script, and then we'll have this guy draw it. That's you got saved. Although I'm telling you, epic rank, epic rant guy. I'll tell you what, I'll buy both. I'm a big spend. I'm the only one wearing a half suit over here, so I'll That's tell you what. True. So I'm I'm the I'm clearly the classiest looking one. Of I think us. I'm gonna get Ayaz's face. You know what I'd spend five dollars oh, on? The sexy logo. What What do you gonna spend be five dollars? A boy who doesn't suck and lie to me. Is, is that me? No, it doesn't have anything to do with you guys. <laughs> I I hate boys. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so it's decided. Chat realm, final tally. First of all, Robert Benford will be spending $5 to get <laughs> one meal from my kitchen, which I'm sure is being cooked right down now downstairs. And a comic. Justin will be getting the NSFW <laughs> show logo printed no, sexually. No, no? What I is have it? not said it was going to be the NSFW show logo. I It will be at my discretion what, get, what get, gets print sexy style. And I'm leaning towards Iaz's face. Find out to, uh, next week. When it will be our opening video. Gra grab Rhubarf. What about the Grab Rhubarf logo? Well, Synergy. see, I'm not committing right now. All right, and I'm going to buy two. One will be a rant on Crazy Rant Guy, and I need Chat Realm to decide what the subject will be, and then the other will be the one-page comic. You guys make up <laughs> the script. I'm worried about what it's going to be. Uh, and, uh, man, that's it. Hey, uh, we're about we're about to start the musical guest. Why don't you do me a favor, Justin? Uh, I don't know if you sent me a link to the musical guest so I can get them on the Skype lines. Is it a yeah, pre-recorded? emailed it to you. Oh, well, then let me open up my email. Meanwhile, why don't you tell the nice people about our fabulous sponsors? Uh, again, nobody pays for this show. That's that's not okay. That's not that was that was a it's, funny bit when it was Netflix, but but now it's like we need to Little kids. Caesars because we got <laughs> the Bigfoot. The Bigfoot is back, kids. <laughs> Welcome to Little Caesars. Uh, here's the deal. Um, sometimes we all go through some hard uh, troubles and tribulations. We all feel a little bit low. Sometimes depression settles in. And you look at your bleak, empty life and the goals for which you'll never fulfill. And you say, thank God I have Squarespace.com. Um, Squarespace.com, of course, is the easy you know, to use one-stop shopping it's, it's for not, blog it's, it's, not, it's not for me to tell you how to do an ad read, but did you just, did you just, did you just start your ad read by, by calling people lonely and, and destitute, saying their lives are pointless, and then immediately transfer into Squarespace? Well, I mean, because when you are on the precipice of uh, ending the cruel, miserable torture that some people call the human life, it helps to bring you back to a life of clarity, vision, and happiness when you think of the never-down hosting of Squarespace.com or the fact that you can create a beautiful-looking blog, one that is full of splendor and wonder and all the little nooks and crannies that make the universe worth experiencing. With net with squares. <laughs> 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 you want to know what's great about Squarespace.com? It's nothing like Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Net Squarespace. Dot Squarespace. <laughs> All right, so you go. You can go ahead and see my new website, Net Squarespace. Dot Squarespace. Dot com. To show that that's what I was talking about. My new website, Net Squarespace. Dot Squarespace. Dot com, which just shows you how much I'm enjoying living life. Again. Squarespace. Oh my god. Wow, it's like an actual band. Uh, yeah, no, holy cow. Wow, yeah, we now have them on. Uh, real quick, uh, for people who want to... They're better uh, than me. Uh, no, nobody's better than you. You're the greatest person who's ever lived. Squarespace.com uh, slash 
NSFW. Squarespace.com slash NSFW. Do me a favor, head on over to that URL. You get a free two-week trial. They don't ask for a credit card or nothing. You can have a badass-looking blog portfolio or any kind of website. And the best part is when you sign up, use promo code NSFW8. Is that correct, Justin? Eight, folks. Eight. Remember, it's the month. The number of the month is the promo Justin, code. What you're, doing? you're telling them the whole system. That means people can use W8. NSFW8. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Squarespace.com. <laughs> How do we know we not done that? I, uh, well, because there's really never good. been NSFW8 until t- this is the first time, isn't it? No. Okay, we should have done that last week. <laughs> NSFW8. <laughs> hey, we are joined on the line by uh, a fantastic get. And I got to give full credit to John Tilton. He's the one who suggested it. You've been in contact with these guys, right, Justin? Absolutely. Folks, as the summer music series comes to a close, we are very, very uh, glad to welcome uh, somebody that, that our uh, our chat realm and Diamond Club has been buzzing about since we said they were going to join us. Alien Ant Folks, the one-ups. Welcome the one-ups. Woo! Gentlemen, how are you guys doing? All right. Are you guys? You are you able to hear us? Hold on, let me go ahead and get myself hidden on there. Are you? I assume you're able to hear us, okay, right, guys? I can hear you. Dude, this is amazing. Where are you guys calling in from? Fayetteville, Arkansas. Fayetteville, Arkansas. Holy crap! That's just up the road from me. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be at uh, University of the Ozarks, just down the road from you guys. Really? Yeah. We gotta hang out later on. Now, if, you, if the internet doesn't mind, I'm just going to have a no, private... the best way to set up a musical bit is to make awkward plans with people... <laughs> yeah, I was just, yeah, if you don't mind all of the internet, I'm going to make plans with my new best friends, the one-ups. Okay, the look, uh, Justin, what are we going to hear from the one-ups? Uh, folks, we are going to hear uh, from the uh, fantastic uh, series of video games, Sonic, the Green Hill Zone theme. Uh, folks, without any further ado, the one-ups. Take it away, guys.
be oneups.com. Their Ooh. latest album is Intergalactic Ooh. Redux, and that was just Green yeah. Hill Zone from yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. Holy yeah. poop, my pants! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Man. Uh, are you calling out for you? Want? No, it's not Mega Man. It's, it's Sonic. It was they were doing the Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. it was from the Sonic. I, know, I, 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 I would imagine I, that that's like that's like like like, like the free bird of like the video game uh, music genre. You just have a guy in the, in the crowd. Mega Man, play Mega Man. Do you guys? Do you guys now? Do you, do you, uh, you have to get that? You have to get people who just shout out random games that they want you to play, right? They want to. They want to hear Super Mario Brothers. Uh, well, I mean, and do you guys honor those requests, or do you say, you just get all uppity, and we're like, I think we're above such things, sir. No, but we do get a lot of free bird, and then we do turn our nose up at that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, there's no video game called free bird, why don't you go die in a fire? Uh, well, listen, folks, uh, if you are in the, uh, anywhere near the Arkansas area, uh, Saturday, October 22nd, the one-ups are going to be at GameCon in Springdale. Arkansas, Wednesday, October 26th. They're going to be at the Smoke and Barrel at, in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Thursday, October 27th at Maxine's in Hot Springs, Arkansas. All of the music and t-shirts are available for purchase from the website, theoneups.com, or you can get all their tunes on iTunes, Amazon MP3, or Bandcamp. Just search The One Ups. Uh, guys, how long have you been doing this type of music? Since 2002, it's been a while. Wow! Oh crap! Well, I, let me say, you guys are polished, man. You guys are, are super sick. That was that was amazing. I had uh, I heard a, a clip of, of what uh, John uh, had sent to me, but I, I have to say, I was I was just totally blown away. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I encourage everybody to go pick up uh, the the album. Now, the uh, the the next one's going to be off uh, Intergalactic uh, Redux. How long have you been working on that? Uh, we put it together. We started about this time last year and put it out at MAGFest um, in January. So I guess I can't do math, but that's a few months. <laughs> Neither so, can we. So we'll just leave it up to you folks at home to calculate that. Uh, uh, well, w one more thing before we before we take it out here. Uh, do you guys have a Twitter that you want to promote? Yeah, it's the One Ups Band. Uh, T-H-E-O-N-E-U-P-S-B-A-N-D. That's on Twitter. And then we're on the Facebook, uh, The One Ups. So Facebook.com slash T-H-E-O-N-E-U-P-S. Right on. All right, so what are, what are we hearing on the way out here, Justin? Well, uh, you want to do the, the plugs here first? Oh, yeah, no, I guess we should, we guess we should go wrap things my, up. My man. Twitter is Robert Benfer. Robert Benfer. So, uh, hey, how's it going with the whole name change thing? You're not Knox anymore, are you? No, I'm Robert Benfer. You, you were Knox, No, my though. new site is called The Benfer. The Benfer, but you used to be Knox. Yeah, I used to be Knox. So I should stop pointing out Knox, because you're not Knox anymore. No more Knox, it's Robert Benfer. You been... lost that identity in a silly yeah. internet game. I lost <laughs> Almost 30 that minutes identity. ago. Yeah. No, <laughs> I lost right. Knox a few years ago, and then I changed it to Robert Benfer. Well, those are hard. And I lost knocks. it, and I got it back. And I lost it again, I got it back. Uh, hey. And I lost it again. And then what happened? Uh, well, and, and, and by the I way, I didn't get it back. Uh, you have it now. That's, it was gone. Okay, all right. What's Robert, up, Justin? Robert, I assume you were still killing it on, on YouTube. Uh, I know you're, you're hilarious to follow on, on Twitter, but uh, uh, where can people find you on YouTube? Uh, well, there's a story behind my YouTube name, but it's youtube.com slash Knox's Corner 1. See my old my old name used to you be used to be Knox. Yeah, and hey, my old site used to be Knox's Corner. Can I give you? Because I know it's a pain in the butt to change your YouTube name. Here's what you do: a little little pro tip from Brian. Uh huh. For eight dollars a year, just register a URL that's like Robert uh, Ben for YouTube .com, and then just forward it straight there. Oh, I didn't think of that. That's well now. That's or why. Or you can go to the Benford.com and, and click YouTube channel and take you there. Well, or you can yes, just search but, Robert Benford YouTube and Google. Google has a, like a hundred things, and you can find it. That's one of them. That's well, one of the hundred things that's on Google. It's my my YouTube channel. Awesome. And you, you should find be my very YouTube proud. channel that way. <laughs> I release a lot of great videos. Uh, hey, it let certainly me, does. Let me just say one thing before we wrap things up on the plugs. Uh, I only care about one thing, and that's Google Plus. Google Plus is the center of my life, and yeah. all my best postings are on it. I finally have a blog. It's called Google Plus. So uh, do me a favor, follow me on uh, uh, G Plus dot two slash Schwood. G Plus dot two slash Schwood. I have a Google Plus too. I don't know how the URL stuff works. <laughs> you can <Just> search <laughs> Robert Benfer. Search yeah. Knox's Corner three five seven YouTube dot Google Plus dot yeah. edu. Justin, what do you got? Uh, yeah, Google Plus. I love a Google Plus. I I write on there a lot. 
and I post things that I find. And uh, go over, just search for Justin Young. I don't know if the Robert is there, but I'm I'm way more popular on Google Plus than all the other Justin Youngs, and I mean to keep it that way. I'm proud uh, to to admit that this is the finished product of what was just cooked <laughs> in my kitchen. Uh, it looks like cookie dough, which um, Robert Benfer is gonna eat live. Really, I did not yeah, know about no, that. No, you well this. because five, yes, because five we need to. Until the real deal. No way, you don't get the real deal. We're gonna, you're gonna eat that. Oh, that's I mean, the that's real all thing. There is. That's all there is. All right, and so this now is, let's take it away with the one ups. This is a very, uh, uh, a very good rebate. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah. Real quick, do me a favor, uh, folks. Yeah, I know a lot of people bought uh, the audiobook for Public Enemy Zero, which I did for uh, Andrew Main's book, Public Enemy Zero. If you listened to it and you liked it, do us a favor. Go on Amazon and, uh, and, and review a Public Enemy Zero favorably. If you didn't like it, then die. Please kill yourself. Um, <laughs> okay. But uh, otherwise, uh, five-star reviews and really positive things help the book and uh, you know uh, everything tremendously. And also, coming soon, the Public Enemy Zero podcast which is going to be that audiobook, uh, serialized and faux free on iTunes, and the Chronological Man audiobook will be available sometime in the next week and a half. So keep an eye on andrewmain.com slash books, or follow me on Google Plus or Twitter, Justin R. Young on Twitter. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, cool. I would like to introduce you to uh, the one-ups yet again, <laughs> playing us out tonight. Is Ain't that, no is love. That, is that what oh, you like say? Oh, yes. would, would, you, would, you, would you bring out like your girlfriend again? Like, I would like to introduce you again to my girlfriend. And I'm like, we already met earlier. Like, well, let me introduce you a second time. That's... Oh, if you want to... I also have a Facebook. It's, uh, it's Netflix.com slash... Twit. The Binford slash Facebook. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good point. Go for it. Uh, <laughs> folks, off their newest album, Intergalactic Redux. Ain't no love like Lawanda's folks. The one ups. Take it away.
There we go. Hold on, we got we got this little, one more thing. Forgot to tell you, I All really like cookie dough. One up, we're gonna play on NSFW shows summer movie draft. Well, for the fact of the matter, I'm wearing the One Ups official T-shirt. Got myself my signed copy of Volume Two. Of course, my signed copy of Volume One and the Super Mario Kart CD and all the rest of the fine products from One Up Studios, or the One Ups personally, are in my living room right now. I could not be more excited for the fact that Mustin and the One Ups are playing on an SFW show. So rock on, you guys. Thank you for playing. They played, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. You, you made a video to say how much you like the One Ups. Well, you know, then, then he should have said it before they played. All right, Dying see you next fire. Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Stay tuned Goodbye, for the uh, Moon Drop Minute with Roberto. Goodbye, Lee. everybody. Goodbye. So long. Bye. I don't know if you'll ever see me again. This might be the last time. Welcome to the Movie Draft Minute. I'm Robert Viegas, in for Chip Blarty Blar. Let's do this! In first place, Sarah Lane still reigns supreme with $805 million, with a changeup bringing a measly $13.5 million, and Harry Potter still bringing in the money with $12.4 million. Brian Brushwood is still in second place with $574.1 million, with Captain America bringing in $13 million this week. Justin still in third place with $478.9 million, with Carl go right behind him in fourth with $458.8 million. Jason remains in fifth place with $423.8 million. And bringing up the rear, Tom Merritt is still in sixth place with Rise of bringing in $54.8 million, raising his total to $378.7 million. That's your Movie Draft Minute. I'm Robert Villegas. <laughs> Alright, sir. Dude, ties are great. I need to wear ties. Because it's like you can put them on just, just to just to act like you don't... Just taking them off is worth the price of putting them on. Because it's like... And of course, I don't have a job where I ever wear a tie. So it's just like... You just be like, oh, I'm sorry. Let me just... Let me just... Hang on. You know what? Here, watch this. One take Brian. Ready? <laughs>